guys. Parts of me do feel weird trying to find people who are wearing masks so I can uh, capture them on film. Kind of, kind of feels like a, like a slightly creepy vibe, but if you think about it, maybe they've already given me permission before I could ask their permission to be in this video. It'll be superstar warriors against the coronavirus, or maybe they're worried that you guys are judging, judging them for being intimidated by it. I know I'm not intimidated by it. That's why I'm purposely touching more things than I normally would. And at the same time touching my face a lot more than what I normally do. Because what if they're telling us to wash our hands and not touch things on purpose? And what if they're doing that because they don't want us to build our immune systems up? And I think one of the best ways to build up the immune system is by exposing yourself to the bacteria and letting your body be more biodiverse. I don't, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just playing around. I, I am kind of worried about it, but also at the same time I'm just like, uh, I can die of anything. I'm not really worried about getting sick from it, but, uh, I'm more so worried about how it's gonna affect worldly events because things are getting quite crazy. Man, I was just hoping that whenever I turned around there would be someone wearing a mask so you guys could see this uh, historical event that is taking place. And I'm trying my best to show you guys what it's like to live amongst the world, or at least on the news, are making it seem super crazy, but right now it just, it feels like I'm in a regular old airport. Nothing is different except people are wearing masks. Some people are. Not uh, an abnormally strange amount of people. I forgot to sanitize this straw. Maybe I should just throw this. Like, get out of here, Corona. See, he's wearing gloves. Got him. Yeah, sometimes you find a mixture of people. Sometimes people are just wearing gloves. Sometimes they're just wearing a mask. And sometimes they might be wearing both gloves and a mask. I'm prepared. I plan to wear those whenever I, I think I'll need them. Oh, here we go. Look. Everyone's wearing a face mask. This is just that one guy. This is a really cool airport. I've never uh, seen such a colorful underground way, whatever this thing is called. Have an uh, immune system boosting smoothie. So, right now, for those of you who may know, you probably do, there's a coronavirus going around. It's March, March 15th at the moment, and uh, things are getting crazy in the world. I don't know what to believe. There's so many radical different speculations that are going on around this coronavirus that I'm just gonna keep my head out of the, the mess in which our culture is created around this intense topic and 
yeah, just gonna keep continuing with what is honestly the most important. And, and for me, it's f following the Word of God, you know? Like, if you're following the Word of God, then really nothing has really changed. Because, yeah, the, th these are just my beliefs that I'm spewing out. Uh, I, I'm just, yeah, I, I have faith in whatever this is. If I get it, then I will continue to push forward just like whenever I had typhoid. Yeah, people are clearly still traveling during this time. Alright, yeah, my, my gate is this way. But as you can see, I don't know if you can see from uh, this GoPro widescreen, but there is a, a about 15 to 20 percent of the people that I walk by are wearing masks. Um, not gonna lie, I, I've worn a mask a little bit, but you truly have to have an N95 mask for it to really protect yourself from this virus. But yeah, as you can see, a lot of people are still traveling and the airports are still pretty, pretty busy. Uh, at least here in uh, Chicago where I'm currently at. Yeah, people are, are making sure to wash their hands really good. And I am too. I've got an antiviral spray with tea tree oil in it. Something that I made myself. I feel like I'm, I'm, well, I'm well protected by the oils from Mother Nature. At least let's hope.